For trading stocks in crypto, Weevil's commission-free trading structure is probably a big draw for you. Unfortunately, the IRS doesn't feel the same way. While we can trade without commission fees on Weeble, Uncle Sam still wants his cut of the profits, right? So if you're wondering how to pay taxes on your Weeble stocks in crypto, I'm gonna help walk you through everything you need to know. We're gonna break down how stocks, dividends, and crypto are all taxed on Weeble, and we'll also discuss how to determine if you even owe taxes on your Weeble portfolio in the first place. Lastly, if you experienced any investment losses on Weeble during the year, I'll even show you how you can use those losses as tax deductions to help offset some of your investment profits. Now, this video today, guys, is not sponsored, but I do have referral links below for my recommended options of different online tax softwares for using with the Weeble app. I also have timestamps below if you want to jump ahead or jump back to any part of today's video. With that being said, guys, let's get started. Now for full disclaimer, guys, I'm not a tax professional, nor am I providing you legal or tax advice. I just wanna give you an overview of the key points you need to know about filing your Weeble taxes. If you need tax advice, of course, always consult your CPA or your tax professional. So let's first start off by breaking down what you won't owe taxes on on Weeble. So for starters, no matter how much a stock you bought increased in value over the year, you won't owe taxes on that stock if you only bought it, but you didn't sell. Secondly, if your investments are in a retirement account, such as a Weeble IRA, your taxes are actually deferred until retirement age. Alternatively, if your investments are in a Weeble Roth IRA, you'll actually receive tax-free growth. Again, this is because both of those are tax-advantaged accounts. Let's now break down what will make you eligible for owing taxes, because as you know, guys, nothing in life is free, and much like the income you earn from your job, the income you earn from your investments is also taxable in the United States. And on Weeble, just like any other brokerage, whenever you sell an asset, such as a stock, an ETF, or even crypto, a taxable event occurs. Because when you sell your asset for a profit, you experience what's called a capital gain. For example, let's assume you bought a share of Microsoft stock on Weeble for $200 and you later sold that share of stock for $250. Well, you just experienced a capital gain of $50. Now, capital gains from investments can be categorized into two types. You have your short-term capital gains and you have your long-term capital gains. The good news is, guys, there are investment strategies that can be used to reduce your tax burden. Here are some of those strategies on how to reduce your taxes from both capital gains and from dividends in your Weeble taxable investment account. So let's first start off with capital gains and taxes. When holding stocks for over one year, you are taxed at the long-term capital gains rate. But if you buy a stock on Weeble and you sell it within one year or 365 days, that is classified as a short-term capital gain, and that's taxed at your ordinary income level. This means your profits are taxed at your ordinary income tax rate. Yes, guys, this is the same tax rate that wages from your job are taxed at as well. However, like I mentioned earlier, if you buy and hold the stock for longer than one year or 365 days before selling it, your gains are then classified as long-term capital gains. And depending on your tax bracket, this could provide you with significant tax savings of up to 20%. And even better, if you fall into the 10 to 15% tax bracket, your long-term capital gains tax rate could be 0%. Yes, that's right, guys. But holding your stock for at least one year, you could potentially end up paying no taxes on your profits when you sell. If you want to see how the capital gains tax rate applies to your specific tax bracket, feel free to check out this capital gains tax rate chart right here for reference. Of course, guys, these are the current capital gains tax rates for this year. You can always stay up to date with the latest tax rates on the IRS website. Next, I wanna discuss dividends and taxes because if you earn any dividends from your stock holdings on Weeble, you actually need to pay taxes on that dividend income as well. Because when it comes to the taxation of dividends, they are also split into two categories. You have your ordinary dividends and you have your qualified dividends. Now, ordinary dividends, guys, when it comes to ordinary dividends, they are taxed as ordinary income. Again, that's at your ordinary tax rate based on your tax bracket. Now, qualified dividends, they are taxed at a lower tax rate. And ordinary dividends are taxed between 10 to 37%, again, based on your tax bracket. Also, this may vary by year. While qualified dividends, guys, they are taxed at rates of 20%, 15%, or even 0%. Again, this also depends on your tax bracket. If you'd like to see how the dividends tax rate applies to your specific tax bracket, feel free to check out this dividends tax rate chart right here for reference. Again, these are the current dividend tax rates for this year. You can always stay up to date with the latest tax rates on the IRS website. 
Now, in order for your dividends to count as qualified dividends, there are some specific criteria they have to meet, mainly having to do with the holding period and how long you held on to those dividend paying stocks for. However, we're not gonna dive into that into this in this video because it is a little more detailed. But you don't have to worry about that because the main thing you need to know is on your Webull tax document, it'll break down how many of your dividends were qualified dividends and how many of them were ordinary dividends. So they take care of that for you. As you can see guys, you can experience significant tax savings on both your capital gains and your dividends earned by simply holding your stocks for at least one year before you sell. This again is another advantage of investing for the long term. So when it comes to your Webull account, whether you sold stocks at a profit and you experienced a capital gain or you simply earned dividends from your holdings, a taxable event occurred in each scenario. But what if you experienced some investment losses on Webull during the previous year? Well, my friends, you're in luck because you can actually use these losses as tax deductions to help offset your capital gains. Because if you lost money from a bad investment or a bad trade on the Webull app, you can actually use capital losses and capital loss carryovers to your advantage. Together, they can help earn back a good percentage of what you might have lost through a bad investment or a bad trade. Now, capital losses, guys, Capital losses are the exact opposite of capital gains. Capital losses occur when you sell an investment for less than you paid. For example, let's assume you bought some shares of, let's say Microsoft stock for $250 and you later sold those shares of stock for $200. Well, you just experienced a capital loss of $50. Fortunately for you though, when you sell your stocks at a loss, your capital losses can actually be used as a way to reduce the tax burden of both your current and future capital gains. You can claim capital losses up to the full amount of any capital gains that you have. Essentially guys, capital losses from bad investments can help offset the taxes owed from your profitable investments, right? And beyond that, you can actually use up to $3,000 of additional capital losses to offset other sorts of ordinary income. Ordinary income is any type of income that you earn that is taxable at your ordinary tax rate, such as income from your salary and other wages. Now, any remaining capital losses over that additional $3,000 limit are then classified as capital loss carryovers. This means that you can carry over those additional losses to the following years to offset future capital gains. There's also no limit on how many years you can carry over capital losses. Together, guys, capital losses and capital loss carryovers can act as a type of tax deduction for investors. They make it possible for investors to recover part of their losses on their tax returns by offsetting capital gains and other forms of ordinary income, potentially, like I said, for years to come with those carryovers. So before I show you how to pay taxes on your Webull portfolio, let's take a quick second to discuss how crypto is taxed. Because since cryptocurrency is such a relatively new technology, the IRS rules regarding it could change at any time. So keep that in mind, guys. But in the meantime, the IRS treats cryptocurrency as property rather than as cash. Essentially, this means crypto is taxed in the same way that stocks are taxed at. Just like stocks, there are no tax consequences for purchasing crypto on Webull or for transferring it between crypto wallets held in your name. However, you are required to pay income tax on any profit you earn from selling your crypto much like stocks. Similar to stocks, both short-term and long-term capital gains tax rates do apply also depending on how long you held the cryptocurrency for. Now, while buying cryptocurrency isn't a taxable event, any free crypto earned could be. So if you received any cryptocurrency as a gift, the amount could be taxed as income. Also similar to stocks, guys, capital losses do apply to crypto as well. So if you experienced any losses from trading crypto on Webull, you can actually use those losses to help offset any other capital gains you made. All right, so let's bring this all together now and explain how you actually pay your Webull taxes because you may be wondering, how am I supposed to keep track of all my capital gains, my capital losses, my dividends in order to accurately pay your taxes, right? Not to worry guys, Webull completely takes care of all of this for you because throughout the year, they automatically track all your stock buys, all your sales, all your dividends. Then every year come tax season, Webull provides you with what's called a Form 1099 tax document. Now, generally speaking, guys, the 1099 tax document calculates all your investment income from your capital gains, your losses, your dividends, interest, even miscellaneous income earned in the previous year. Now, your Webull 1099 tax form sums up everything you need to know for filing your investment income along with your regular tax return. And of course, when your tax forms are ready, you should receive an email from Webull to let you know. To retrieve your Webull tax documents in the app, you're going to follow a couple of simple steps, and I'm now going to walk you through how to do just that. So once you're inside 
inside of your Webull app on the home dashboard, as you can see here, you're then gonna wanna click on your profile icon in the top right. Now that may be a picture right there. Simply click on the top right icon right there. It's then gonna open up your Webull profile. From here, you're gonna scroll down to the very bottom of the app where it says Help Center. So once you click on Help Center right here, it's then gonna open up the Webull Help Center and you'll see in the very top left, you should see where it says Quick Access and you'll see where it says Tax Documents. If you click on tax documents right there, that is where you can retrieve your most up-to-date Webull tax forms. Again, you wanna get your tax forms for the current tax year. If you don't see your Webull 1099 form for the current tax year yet, it may not be available in your app just yet, so just keep checking. Also keep an eye out for that email, they'll send to you when it is ready for download. Because once it's here, all you have to do is download it and you're good to go. Now there are multiple types of 1099 tax forms you may receive from Webull, including those for capital gains, for dividends, for interest, for miscellaneous income. But typically Webull consolidates all these forms into a single 1099 called the 1099 composite. And again, like I said, if you don't see your uh, tax form for the current tax year in the app, it's just not available yet, but it should be there soon. Also guys, if you traded any crypto in the previous year, you may also receive a crypto 1099 form, which will also be available here for download in the same area. Again, after you've downloaded your 1099 tax forms from the Webull app, they can then either be imported directly into your favorite online tax software, or you can also hand them directly to your CPA or your tax professional. One quick tip I have for you guys is, if you're using tax software, many of them today offer direct importing of your 1099 tax forms, where the software automatically imports all your capital gains, your losses, and your dividends. Again, guys, I have referral links down below if you'd like to check out some of my recommended options for online tax softwares for using with Webull. Now, if you enjoyed this video breaking down Webull and taxes, I definitely recommend checking out this video right here where I compare the top five tax software to consider using with Webull. From free to paid options, you're sure to find one that works for you. So click on over and I'll see you in that video.